about you two. Remember them? Uh, I've not heard them for a, you remember lot, a long time. Downloaded forcibly their album on everyone's Apple products. Yeah, do you without remember letting that? anybody know. Yeah, I remember that. Fucking what weirdos. was that all about? Probably their record company, John. I don't think it would have been Bono, but uh, you two reimagined forty of their own songs for new album songs I've of got 40 surrender. Songs. Now, John, really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. John, they've, <laughs> got, two, fair, they've got two greatest hits out. One that spanned yeah, from 1980 to 1990, then 1990 to 2000. So, I just one of the greatest um, bands ever. It's crazy when you think about it. Um, but this um, this album, which is arriving on the 17th of March this year, coincides with Bono's recent memoir, Surrender 40 Songs in One Story. And if you, I remember him being on Colbert or something speaking about this, and he, he delivered a fucking epic monologue. Yeah, I'm sure it was this behind one of their songs. It may have been. It's um, probably, was it to do with this book? I think it yeah. was. Yeah. What's the song? Jesus Christ, with or without you? Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh my God, Stephen, it's fucking yeah. incredible. He's got away for words. He now, delivers a monologue and then goes right into a performance. I don't think there's anyone out there that doesn't dis- that doesn't like at least one U2 song I like multiple U2 yeah, songs um, and I've, John when I was growing I've up I've good memories of the 90s with U2 when I was growing up um, I think Under a Blood Red Sky had just been released in the sort of early to mid 80s and it was a live album and I had just got my Sony Walkman <laughs> 80s Quill. yeah and my Adidas tracksuit and uh, those headphones that you used to get the the spongy ones, yeah, and listening to this album and just being a fan of you two, and then uh, they were kind of went into the nineties stuff with the, the fly and all that jazz mysterious ways, and they kind of changed their sort of style, and I, I still liked them. Edge is one of the greatest guitarists, and then ever they reinvented themselves again in the early two thousands with a beautiful day and uh, Mind what's, that, what's that song called? Um, Got yourself together, uh, stuck in the moment. Which is a fantastic song. Do you know something? The last time I heard that song was actually in Dublin. Yeah. Going going to Dublin Airport, which I thought was quite fitting. Is that you've got to yeah. get yourself. Uh, that was a good album, John, that came from. Uh, from 2000. But um, since That's then. one that I really recall they did, which was brilliant. Was Erko. the one that seemed to like, yeah, linking yeah. with Angelina Jolie. I think it may have been Tomb Raider. It was early 2000s, mid 2000s, yeah, wasn't that it? That was the yeah. last time I think they released a, a, a great, great yeah. song. I don't know what they released after it, if they did, John, but I, I, I think Vertical was probably the last sort of period I remember from them. But this album, uh, I asked This you, is an interesting concept, uh, if it's what I'm thinking yeah. it is. Well, that's I'll, what I'll I tell asked. You what I said, what does Reimagined mean? Does that mean remastered? You said, no, it's it's re-recording the, you, the songs. Well, there's a couple of yeah. things I want to discuss about this, team. <clears> but the first thing... I'll ask you, what does this conjure up in your mind relating to your, both your favourite band of all time? What they did with an album, posthumously obviously for two of the Beatles, yeah. with Giles. What they, they what, what album do you think this reminds you and if it does remind you of the it? The White Album? No, no, Love. Love. Reimagining oh, the right, songs, yeah, right, uh, bringing them together, yeah, new yeah, lights, yeah. mixing them differently. It was almost like full fucking surround sound. And then That's they took it to an actual yeah. purpose built arena. Yeah, in Vegas, yeah. In Vegas for it. It came yeah. out immediately as I read that's this and I sent it over. Good, I thought, yeah. that sounds like love. Yeah. A reimagining 40 it songs. Be, yeah. It's not full songs potentially. We'll find out as we go yeah. through. I may be talking shit. It could be a bit of remix. But you could there, be yeah. remixing it and doing something yeah. unique. Because I love that love album. I think yeah. that's absolutely now, one, of, that's one of the best things put out. Um, you two uh, announced the project on the 10th, uh, which was yesterday, Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And. They put out a minute long trailer on YouTube, which I'm is available there if you want. Um, and it has an atmospheric rendition of Beautiful Day, uh, paired with a moving collage filled with video and images of you two throughout their career. I, I think this is fantastic. It's, it's a good way if... Beautiful Day, again, is another song that conjures up brilliant memories for me, early 2000s, Premier League, English Premier League. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was a sellout back then. <laughs> the great Arsenal team. Yeah. With Farson Wenger yeah, and the likes of Dennis Bergkamp, Terry O'Neill. That Ray league was a bit there. more interesting. Yeah. Um, Beautiful Day used to be the sort of soundtrack. I was ITV. going to say something about you two as well, um, whether or not. I can't imagine they're going to be back in that sort of same place they were uh, in terms of. Not popularity, they're a popular band still, but um, I think all bands suffer from it eventually. REM obviously had. They, they retired because they knew 
the day had come, you know, that they couldn't um, reach those heights anymore or have that sort of energy uh, to, to compose those I mean, songs I'm just, again. I'm going down a weasel rabbit hole just now and they, yeah. by all accounts, just don't even bother now. They don't even bother releasing new stuff. They just yeah. go over. I mean, they, they did a live performance yeah. just to Blue Album. Yeah, I mean, I, I can imagine you two front. going out and touring. They just do their great hits now. They yeah. became the Rolling Stones, basically. Yeah. Um, but which is not a bad thing. I no. mean, if you've got a, a catalogue that size, forty songs, then why not? But um, for me, um, and I did see Bono recently, and they, geez, he's getting old. It's, it's sad to see that because I remember when he had that that mullet. You know, the black hair and the mullet. Um, the but, tank tops. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, the edge just. Didn't have good hair anyway. He um, always wore a hat. Um, yeah. <laughs> geez, oh. But anyway, um, I'm looking forward to it, John. Um, I'm very interested to see what they're going to do with these songs. Um, in this day and age, you just wait for Spotify and you can listen to it on that. That's what I do with all the Giles Martin stuff. I yeah. listen to it through that, which is probably sad. funny because I was thinking just there, I was walking the dog earlier on today and I was thinking, I know they released a Get Back album and sort of like, let, let it be album yeah, I should say yeah. linking in with the Get Back documentary documentary yeah and I thought I've not bought that yeah and I've had every other is that the one that the, the, the covers like them on the roof like yeah. their backs yeah and I, need, sky. I, I have to buy it regardless you see the London skyline yeah I'm going to have to get it but I've not even got a fucking means to play a CD now well John <laughs> this brings us on to our next topic um, if you've got anything else you want to say about uh, you too. Just intrigued Stephen look I do like you too uh, they're, they're one of the great bands of the 80s going yeah. into the 90s as I say, I've got great memories. Football, they know, everyone knows on this channel. I'm a Celtic man, and my abiding memory, sweetest thing, 1999, late 98 maybe. We beat Rangers that was a good five song, one. That. Yeah, I liked that song. That was it's the one there they got. Park, and um, they played it at the end. Boyzone and all that were in the yeah. video. I remember that. That was a great video. It was yeah. in Dublin, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. I think it was an apology to his wife. He forgot an anniversary. <laughs> And he writes so, a song about that. I mean, you can't beat but that, so can you? That ties back to it. Stephen, I said it before, music for me is transportive. It takes me back. Yeah. It's a time machine. I go back to when I was like eight or nine, nine or ten. I was just beat my biggest rivals, 5-1. And that comes on at the end. It's only out like a month, the song at that time. So I've got good memories. And With or Without You, for me, is one of the greatest songs ever. Great intro, yeah. Ever. Fantastic the intro. first minute of that song is just yep. unbelievable. The, the bass, the guitar... Bono's vocals, so I just have they got that many songs. You remember the time they put the album on everyone's devices? But look, that aside, man, they're one of the great bands of the last 30, 40, 50 years. They've earned the right to have that back catalogue, and it's so interesting to see how they combine that. So, yeah, I'd love to see a Love Style album, but it's like the ultimate takes and it's mixed together, and you're giving us something fresh. With familiar I, mean, songs. I, I thought perhaps maybe they would have done a sort of re-release box set of their their albums first to remind maybe a, a, a generation, uh, you know, how good their songs were for their time, and then maybe bring out something like that, you know, just mm-hmm. to go, oh right, I I can identify with that now, because it has been a while since you two have done anything massive, um, and this is massive, forty songs reinvented, um, or reimagined, sorry. Um, it's going to be interesting. I hope they don't do that thing where they just do an acoustic thing where a song that would normally last three minutes is lasting fucking seven minutes on yeah. an acoustic, slowing everything down. I hate that. The only time I didn't think that was ever long by Foo Fighters. Bob Dylan does that, John. Yeah, he and does, I love he does Bob. it live. Yeah. He, but his argument is you want to hear the, uh, the record yeah. version. Yeah, fair enough. Listen to yeah. it. Yeah. But I, I want to see you, mate. Me. I want to see you. <laughs> exactly. I want to see him doing it like yeah. that. Because that's like the only the opportunity record. you're going to fucking get. Bob, mime so. it. Just mime it. Just mime it. <laughs> don't talk with Bob's. Yeah. I don't mind the, that if it's done right. Uh, like the Foo Fighters, huge fan of them. They did mm. a Skin and Bones live performance. As a sort of one and done performance, though. But they took all the f- famous songs and yeah, acu- yeah. made them acoustic. And it was different. We'll they didn't overstay see. their fucking welcome, though. That's yeah. the thing. 17th of March it comes out, John. I'm pretty sure it's that St. Patrick's Day. I think is it is, it? yeah. Is it? I think it is. Which is kind of thing me for you too, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, 17th of yeah. March. Uh, that's, it's obviously deliberate uh, for them to do that. But they know what they're doing. Um,